So I don't know what else is uh, useful in this area. The fact that I found Cyclops fragments makes me think that there should be other cool stuff here. But for now, I'm going to slowly head back home so that I can build that Cyclops. And I'm also going to see if I can build some kind of research station for all this random stuff, which seems to exist in this game like uh, creature eggs and stuff like that. I don't know what I do with any of that yet, but I'm assuming there's some way to process it. Also, did I take a look at this one before? This looks like a new escape pod that I've never looked at. Let's see. Yeah, this is em this is new. Let's listen. Oh. Um, okay, I got titanium, which would imply that I've already read it? Or something? Here we go. Doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Wow, they blew. They blew themselves up with that. That's unfortunate. Ma'am, I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. We have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there! I already way ahead of them on that. I am not foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. Hmm. Okay, interesting. New PDA data. So one thing we I th I'm trying to I'm trying to understand what what exactly we learned from that, but I think one thing we learned from that is uh, hold on let me try to grab some of the stuff here. I don't know where that was that I just broke off. There it is. Copper. I like copper. Yeah. So one thing I think we might have learned from that is that rescue parties did come. It's just they also got messed up. Is that the Aurora? So is the Aurora not our ship? Were we like, did we come from escape pods from some other ship? And then this Aurora came to help us out? Then they crashed too? Is that what I'm understanding from that? It sounds like it's something like that happened. The rescue teams came and uh, then they also got stuck. And there's a rendezvous point, but it's, in, it's past an, a radiation zone. The only radiation zone I know of is that thing. So I don't know what they would mean by that. Anyways, let me uh, deposit some of my supplies, then see if there's any kind of research station I can make here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh. Warning, emergency power only. Why? Why are we out of power? So, uh, sun? I guess we don't have any uh, any sun right now. Well, that's fine. Let's uh, just hold our breath for a bit here. Wait, I've suddenly made the stasis rifle? Freezes physical objects in place. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that I uh, didn't even have to craft it. That's pretty handy. Okay, so let's see if there is... Um, is there another way for me to make a bit more power, maybe? Oh, actually, also, I should grab some water, too. Oh! Power only. The power come back power on? Restored. All primary systems online. Interesting. Is it because I don't have enough solar panels to, uh, to for them to work during the nighttime? Because it seemed like it worked in the nighttime before. Well, whatever. Let's uh, let's equip our thingy, and let's see what we can do about that. Maybe. We possibly have too large of a base at this point. Um, let's see, what am I, what am I looking for here? Ooh, we've got, okay, coffee machines and stuff, radios, fabricators, chargers, modification of survival equipment, what does that mean? I feel like I should make that. Modification 
of survival equipment. Yeah, it's definitely going to be useful for something. And vehicle upgrades. Yeah, we need to build all this. Thermal plants for heat energy. We need magnetite for that. Okay, so I think what we're going to go for right now is vehicle upgrade station. Oh, actually, no, wait. We have to build our Cyclops, don't we? First things first. What do we need? Tell me, vehicle bay. What do I need to make a Cyclops? Plasteel ingots times three. Enameled glass. Lubricant. Wiring kit. Lead. Okay. So, we've got lead. We've got um, the ability to make plasteel and enameled glass. Let me figure out what, what goes into that. Lubricant is just some um, vines, that's fine. Advanced wiring kit. So, let me uh, see if I can scrounge all that up somehow. A stalker tooth? What's a stalker? Do I, have I scanned that before? Is that in my um, knowledge database of things that exist? I need to know what a stalker is. Stalker. Okay, it's one of those things. I need to kill that. And take its teeth. All right. Well, I guess that's going to be our uh, our first order of business is to kill one of those. We've never done that before, so that should be interesting. I'm thinking maybe we should try out the stasis rifle on it as well. Here we go. These are one of the guys I'm looking for. Freeze him. Ooh, did that work? It did. Keep at him. This looks like it seems like it's taking a while. I don't know if I can attack any faster than this, though. Still in stasis. He hasn't woken up yet. Um, he's getting out of the stasis bubble, though. Because it looked like there was an area of effect for that. Um, is he dead yet? Uh, doesn't look like I accomplished anything so far. Maybe I can't kill him with a knife. Honestly, don't know if this is doing anything. Alright, I'm gonna get up and go up for air. This does not seem to be working, though. I don't have any other weapon, though, other than a, um, a knife. I don't think how is this okay this stasis rifle does take batteries. I can scan them again? That doesn't seem like it'll help. Um What can I use? A <laughs> repair him? A laser cutter? It's pretty brutal. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> I can stab him more, but I don't know how that's gonna help. How do I get his teeth? Wait. Can I just grab him? Is that what I do? <laughs> okay, it seems like this is going to be more troublesome than uh, I figured. Since apparently I can't hurt this thing with a knife. So I can't take its teeth even though it's in stasis. At least it seems to stay in stasis forever. So that's nice. But I don't think I can... I don't think I can do anything. Okay, I don't know if that helped or not. <laughs> I tried to stab it without using stasis to see if that would do anything. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, it seems like they don't they don't care to attack me when I do that, but it also doesn't give me anything. And those are stalkers. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do to grab their teeth. I've got to be able to kill them or something somehow. Well, since we hit yet another snag in our quest to build the Cyclops, I guess we're going to work on the vehicle upgrade station. If I recall, we do have some ability to make that, don't we? Titanium, computer chip, copper wire. I'm pretty sure we can make all those things. So let me see if I can just make that instead. And maybe we can upgrade our, uh, our little ship. So I have all the materials I need now. 
However, now the question is, how do I place it? <laughs> As with many things, that's the, uh, that's the true issue. Doesn't seem like I place it on a platform like this. I, I don't apparently place it on the ground. I don't place it up here. <laughs> I'm not sure where I place it. Doesn't look like I can place it in here either. Yeah, this doesn't seem to work. Wish there were some uh, some description that would tell me, but um, there isn't. Do I need a moon pool in order to have a vehicle upgrade station, like to park my ship or something? If so, that would make no sense, but uh, I mean, it, it could be possible. Well, whatever, there is also the ability to make an equipment upgrade station, right? So let's check that out. Maybe that we'll have, we'll have more luck with. Here we go, we've got all the stuff for this. Modification of survival equipment. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna put it right here. And hopefully it's worth all those darn resources. Survival knife upgrades, fin upgrades, cyclops upgrades. What? I thought there was a separate vehicle upgrade station. Exosuit upgrades. Okay, we don't have that, but that's spoilers, I guess. We're going to have exosuits at some point. Depth module. Safe diving depths and does not stack. So, if I get that, it'll allow me to dive deeper, but I don't know how much deeper. It doesn't say. MK2 and MK3. It says it does not stack. Does that mean I should just go for the highest level one and ignore the rest? Plasteel and rubies. Or plasteel, magnetite, and enamel glass. Okay, so that's a, that's a good option. I don't know how much that'll help us, but it's a good option. And there's a depth module for the Cyclops, too. Ultra glide fins, swim charge fins. Charges your held tool while you swim. I already have ultra glide fins, don't I? Oh, am I already wearing ultra glide fins? No, I'm just wearing fins, not ultra glide fins. Whoa, I'm out of power. Okay, that's what's going on. It's nap time. All right, I really need to add some more power to this somehow. I'm not sure what the best way to do that is. I'm guessing it's just, uh, I, can, I can do a thermal plant, but I don't have magnetite. The only real way I can do it is just more solar panels. So I just guess I'm just going to have to wait till um, the morning. That's really unfortunate. Alright, so if I were to place another one of these, like let's say right here where it's uh, the light's coming from, how would that work? Would that power up the station? No. Still no power. Okay, let's deconstruct that then. If one extra panel is not going to do it, then uh, it's not worth it. <clears throat> yeah, what's magnetite? I still don't know what that is. It's surprising there's so many resources. Oh, is it back online again? Oh, okay, thank goodness. All primary systems online. That's gonna be annoying until it, uh, until it make it stops, uh, or until I get enough power so that that stuff doesn't happen anymore. Oh! Oh! Warning. On and off again. Power only. Power restored. Is it because All I'm using oxygen in here? Online. What if I leave? If I leave for a second, will it gain more power slowly? Welcome aboard, Captain. Unpowered. I want to use it, though. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to sit here and wait until I can use this. Oh, okay. Knife upgrades. Cooks and sterilizes small organisms for immediate consumption. 
You know, that's not bad. That means if I just run up across a random fish, I can immediately go and eat it? That's actually a pretty good deal, honestly. It does take a battery, though, which is unfortunate. I could also do this. Enhances swim speed. Fins, rubber, lithium. That's, uh, that's easy. I've got all of that. Rubber and lithium. Let's grab some of that. All right, and let's try making this. Cool. Okay, so let's, uh, oh, it's already equipped. Let's give it a test. How much faster are we? Uh, let's see. I guess it's a bit faster? If it's faster, it's not incredibly faster. But I guess it's better than nothing? There's also those, um, those other fins that charge a battery. That might be even more useful, but I don't know what polyanalaline is, so that's not gonna... It's not gonna work for us. I guess we'll create the thermal blade. And I think if we make plasteel ingots and rubies, that would be worth it. So let's uh, let's see if we can do that. What are those plasteel ingots made out of? Was that the one where I needed the, the tooth? If so, then we're doomed. No, titanium ingots and some lithium. That we can actually make happen. All right, we can make titanium ingots. And that should get us enough to make plasteel ingots. There we go. All right, that's very useful. And now all we're missing is some rubies. So let's get some rubies. We should have some of those around here somewhere. I know I collected them just in case I needed them. Felt like they might be important, and they are. Except we can't because we need Seamoth Depth Module MK2. I don't know where you find that. Well, um, I guess we're doomed on that front. So we will put back our quartz. We will put a plasteel ingot in there for later. We'll just deposit all of our stuff that we're not using at the moment. And then we'll continue doing I don't know what. All right, well, we've got our super special knife. Woo, we can burn things too now as we grab them. We've got all these random things that we could pick. Still don't know what to do with them. Oh yeah, is there a research station? That's what we wanted to check, right? But I don't think we found any. We found the vehicle upgrade console, which we don't know how to place, which is incredibly irritating. We've got some a modification set of station, which was very helpful, but it seems we're still missing stuff for that, which is weird. So maybe we need to find some modules on the ground and scan them? I don't know what that means. And as for rooms, I don't see anything else that would seem to let us research anything. It's an observatory, but I don't think that's relevant. So I guess that's it. All right, well, now I'm not sure what to do. We've got the blueprint for the Cyclops, but we need to be able to get teeth from one of those water monster things. I guess I could try this knife on him. Maybe this knife will do a little bit better, but I don't really know. That knife is definitely convenient for uh, quick eating, though. That's going to be really helpful. This is actually going to be extremely helpful for us when we're just out and about. Where is he? Where is that? I don't know where that came from. It was one of those blowing up guys from over here. Take their sulfur and get out. Sulfur is actually useful. So I will risk it to grab some of that. Yeah, this knife is so useful to let me sustain myself when just out and about. It means I can just keep grabbing food as I go. And it's not useful for just for food. 
Eating food like that gives me water as well. So it lets me conserve a lot of supplies. What did I just grab there? A coral tube? I don't need a coral tube. Oh, right. I forgot that it also takes batteries, doesn't it? Or does it always work? I can't seem to change its batteries, so maybe it always works? Here we go. Here's one of these guys again. Let's try it. Does not seem to be working. That's a lot of good hits. But no success. Wait, is he dead? Seems like he would be dead. But I still don't have his teeth. So, what do I do? What now? So, it seems like he, he does get... He's not stunned. He's actually dead, but still animating. What do I do about that? How do I how do I get your teeth? Your teeth are right there. I can I can grab them. I don't know. Maybe he drops it and I just am not paying attention. I have no idea. All right, I'm guessing that those modules I need the vehicle upgrade station for. I guess I craft the module with the upgrade station and like apply it in there. That's what I'm guessing. I don't really know. Uh, it would be nice if I knew how to actually place the vehicle upgrade station, so I might have to look that up. This, uh, this building system, unfortunately, it's, it's not, it's, um, I mean, I guess it's sort of intuitive, but it, it also doesn't explain itself at all, which can be a problem when things are suddenly not intuitive. Hmm, there's a tunnel here. I've never tried killing one of those guys. But I don't know how useful that would be. So far, it doesn't seem like uh, killing things is that helpful. Is he coming? Yeah, he's coming. Ooh, we got some bubbles here, though, so we're good. Silver. That's rare. Alright, so I looked it up. It turns out we do need a moon pool in order to place a vehicle upgrade station. Which is unfortunate because we don't we don't have the ability to make a moon pool and I don't know how we get that. I assume we're going to have to find a moon pool somewhere and scan it and then we'll be able to make a moon pool and upgrade our stuff. But for now we just don't have the ability to do that. So we're unfortunately not going to be able to upgrade our um, our sea moth right here. And regarding the um, the cyclops well, I'm not going to look up how I'm supposed to get the teeth off of that thing. Uh, at least not yet. So, I'm thinking maybe there's one more equipment item I think we didn't get. Where is it? It's not here. Tools? Uh, propulsion cannon, yeah. That's the one, one, the one tool we didn't get because it sounds pretty useless. It just pushes and pulls objects, but who knows, maybe that's what we need in order to do this, so I'm going to try to make that with a wiring kit maybe, and uh, whatever else it needs, and maybe that will work. Alright, and now we can build it. I'd really like to build some more batteries too, I think we're kind of running low on those. But now we've got the propulsion cannon. Warps gravity to push and pull objects. Okay, so I can equip that. Now, what's the point of this? Let's go find one of those needle-nosed guys, whatever they're called. And let's push and pull him and see if he cares. What? Wait, can I... Whoa. Okay, that... That didn't use much charge. What is it? What's happening here? Whoa. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if that's helpful, but it's interesting. Did 
Doesn't look like I can use it on those guys. Here we go. Okay, I don't... Doesn't look like I can grab him. He's, he's trying to bite me. But I can't do anything to him. And I can't grab his teeth. What do I do? Yeah, this gravity thing doesn't seem to be uh, helpful. Just as I feared. Hmm. I mean, they grab those uh, those rubble things with their teeth. Does that does that mean anything? Does that mean that his tooth came out over here? I somehow doubt it. Like I can stab him. This guy looks like a bigger one. Maybe that matters. Does that matter? Does it have to be a giant one like this? Oh, I just barely missed him. I'm I'm wondering if this if this will matter. Sorry, I have to kill you to find out. And it looks like there's no difference. That's unfortunate. Poor creature. He died for no reason. But why can't I just grab his teeth? His teeth are right there. It's very saddening. Oh, this thing. No, go away. Those things hurt. Very troublesome. Don't mind me, I'm just searching through this random cave. Hopeful that I'll find something useful someday. Okay, I think that actually saved me there. Alright, well, unfortunately, I don't think there's much use for this propulsion cannon. At least as far as what I've seen. That's very saddening. So, since that's the case, I'm not really sure how to harvest those guys' teeth, and so I'm not sure how to make the Cyclops. I guess that's what I'm going to have to be figuring out now. And I... how do I figure that out? Great question. I don't know. Maybe I'll scan them. Actually, I've already scanned them. Let me look at their description. Maybe that'll help tell me something about the Stalkers? Okay, so from this description, all I know is that it's attracted to titanium deposits, which we've kind of seen. It likes the uh, scrap metal. And it may be possible to temporarily distract hungry stalkers by feeding them. Interesting. Okay, so if I were to drop some sort of food, it would like that? I don't know how useful that is. But the, the teeth are, are uh, useful for an ambled glass, it says at the bottom there. Which we know. But how do I get the teeth? It doesn't really say. Oh, and here's the section on that uh, large thing, the Leviathan. Reef back Leviathan. So we got lots of... Oh wait, that's different. That's different from what I was thinking of as a Leviathan. I wonder what that... Uh... Oh, I'm about to die. I wonder what that other thing is, the thing I was thinking of as a Leviathan. The thing that keeps chasing after us. It looks like I haven't scanned it? Which I guess is uh, understandable, <laughs> not having the time to scan something like that, but I was pretty sure I scanned it. I wonder if any of this has any information that will be helpful to me. Maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. Maybe their teeth are just lying around somewhere. They like to snack on titanium. Maybe there's like titanium deposits somewhere that they're just snacking on. And I should just go, I don't know, find it and... Look for a tooth next to it. Yeah, let's drop some titanium for this guy. Let's see if that does anything. Is he gonna care? Got some titanium for you. Does he care? It's not coming towards it. You, over here. Pay attention to me. Uh, you're, you're passing by the titanium, buddy. It's right over here. He doesn't seem to care. Hmm. 
camera drone. Oh, is that the one that I sent out before? So this is metal salvage. This is where I would think one of its teeth would be if they were like hiding somewhere and they broke off. But I don't see one. Well, as usual, I am at a uh, complete loss as to what to do. So I think we'll have to end things there. I may have to look up how it is that you get teeth from that, uh, that creature. I really shouldn't have to. I mean, I, uh, I was able to stab the creature. I was able to try using all of my different th tactics on it. Using the stasis rifle, everything. I feel like some of that should have worked, but uh, it did not. As long as we can get that tooth, though, we should be able to build the Cyclops, if I recall. I think that was the only thing that we're missing. Maybe what we're missing is a tool that we don't have access to yet. Maybe that's why I'm so confused. There are certainly a lot of things that we can't interact with yet. For example, those big deposits of materials. We can't harvest those at all. So there's a lot of things that we're clearly missing. How do we get access to those things? That's, uh, that's a great question. I don't really know. Maybe we'll have to go head back to the enforcement platform next time. Maybe there was something we missed in there. Maybe some clues as to what it is we're actually supposed to be doing right now. Because these past few episodes, I've just been exploring uh, around <laughs> the neighborhood. Um, we went back there. We got more pieces. We built our base. We finally got all the pieces for the Cyclops, which would be nice if we could dive down deep over there where that beacon is. And maybe find out where it is we're supposed to be going. I'm pretty sure it's where our beacon is. But I don't really know yet. So basically what I'm saying is it'd be nice if uh, we were able to make some progress again. Because making a base like this, it's nice and all. And uh, I'm really happy that we've got it and all of our supplies are organized. And we've got this room with this scanner and it's, it's pretty cool. But I really, really, really need to be able to dive deeper. And I really, to do that, I really need the Cyclops. <laughs> and to do that, I really need to get the... The teeth from that that creature which seems like it should be easy but apparently it's not uh, so yeah uh, basically I just need answers to questions so I can go deeper and uh, start exploring because that's what I really want to do so I guess I'll end things there hopefully we'll be able to make a little bit more uh, concrete progress next time we did get the Cyclops so that's great but um, I really would like to actually be able to build the Cyclops as well so thanks for watching guys see you next time